Hey guys, I'm Cupid. I have schizophrenia. Um, today I wanted to do part three of the meds everything you need to know video. So these are all antipsychotics meant for schizophrenia. Um, I do think these are things that everyone should know about their pills. Um, not every doctor explains everything to you right off the bat when you start taking a medicine. So these are some good things to learn about your medications um, before you start using them. Um, these are This is information about how they work, um, the uses for them, and side effects and things like that. Um, so today I'm doing Invega, otherwise known as Haloperidone. Um, and I'm going to be putting the names on the screen for you guys. Haloperidol and Chlorpromazine. Um, are the other two that I will be doing. Um, again, I'm going to put the names on the screen um, when I start talking about them so that you guys know um, because I don't know if I'm saying them correctly and I don't want to uh, have you misinformed, I guess is the best way to explain it. Okay, so let's start with haloperidone or um, Invega. So I have taken Invega. I don't know if anyone else has taken Invega. I'm sure they have. It's very popular for people with schizophrenia. Um, there's the Invega shot. There's the Invega um, extended release shot. Um, there's also the pill, um, which I believe, I don't think they have any information about that um, very much so. But um, I had issues on um, Invega. So I had prolactin levels really high. Um, I was having really bad akathisia. Um, I had massive anxiety. I was, I was just having a lot of issues. How's that? Um, so I had to get off of it, but because I was on the shot, um, it took a few months for it to fully be out of my system. Um, so they said every 30 days, it's another 50% that comes out of your system. So it takes a lot longer for it to come out of your system because of the big dosage that you are given once a month. Um, and I had issues for a very long time and I actually swore I would never do another shot after that because I was in so much pain for such a long period of time even though I was no longer on that medication. Um, so just beware that they can't, it can't happen, but it does work for some people. The Invega shot I have heard has worked for so many people so just because it didn't work for me does not mean that it won't work for you. Just be aware, though, that there are those things to take into consideration. If you take the Invega shot, if you take any shot, it will take a lot longer to get out of your system. So that is the case in any shot. Um, so, paliperidone. Um, so why is this medication prescribed? Uh, paliperidone extended release injections in Vega Sustena and in Vega Trinza are used to treat schizophrenia. A mental illness, obviously we know this. Um, paliperidone extended release injection in Vega Sustena is also used alone or with other medications to treat schizoaffective disorder. Um, Paliperidone extended release injection is in a class of medications called atypical antipsychotics. It works by changing the activity of certain natural substances in the brain. Let's move on. How should this med medicine be used? Um, paliperidone, paliperidone, oh. um, paliperidone extended release injections come as a suspension liquid to be injected into a muscle by a healthcare provider. After you receive your first dose of paliperidone extended release injection in Vega Sustena, you will receive a second dose usually one week after the first dose and then again every month. If you have received, if you have received at least four months of treatment with paliperidone extended release injection or in Vega Sustena, your doctor may switch you to paliperidone extended release injection in Vega Trinza. Paliperidone extended release injection in Vega Trinza is usually injected into a muscle by a healthcare provider once every three months. Okay, 
Paliperidone extended release injection may help control your symptoms, but will not cure your condition. Um, there's no cure. We all know this. There's no cure for our condition. Um, so obviously we have to deal with it. Um, continue to keep appointments to receive paliperidone extended release injection, even if you feel well. Talk to your doctor if you do not feel like you are getting better during your treatment with paliperidone extended release injection. Um, please be aware also that coming down off of this, if you choose to stop your medicine immediately, that's a bad idea with any of the shots. Any of the shots in general, stop it. You'll have massive amounts of side effects if you just quit it right away. They have to, um, from something that big, they have to usually wean you off um, usually using other medications to help you get off of it because it is, I, I don't know how to explain it, but um, it is a massive amount that they put into your system in one go and it releases throughout the, the month and then you have to take it every month. And if you miss an appointment, you'll have massive amounts of side effects. Um, it'll also come out of your system and so you won't be treated, so it won't be helping you. Um, and if you choose to not take medication anymore, it's also going to um, give you massive amounts of side effects and probably more symptoms as well um, because you can't just stop. Um, so be careful while taking this medication. Um, some of the side effects, um, more common side effects uh, include pain, swelling, redness at, a, at injection site, extreme tiredness, Dizziness, feeling unsteady or having trouble keeping your balance, restlessness, agitation, headache, dry mouth, weight gain, stomach pain or discomfort, breast discharge, missed menstrual period, breast enlargement in males, decreased sexual ability. Um, so the serious side effects, more serious side effects are rash, itching, hives, swelling of the face, throat, tongue, lips, eyes, hands, feet, ankles, and or lower legs. Difficulty swallowing or breathing, seizure, fever, muscle stiffness, falling, irregular heartbeat, confusion, loss of consciousness, unusual or uncontrolled movements of the mouth, tongue, face, head, neck, arms, and legs, uncontrollable shaking of a part of the body, slow movements or shuffling walk, painful erection of the penis that lasts for hours, so weird having to say that out loud, cough, chills, and other signs of in infection. All right, so that is Invega, um, otherwise known as paliperidone. Um, so next we have haloperidol, and I wasn't able to find another name for this, so I'm guessing this is what they call it no matter what. Haloperidol is a prescription drug, obviously. It comes as an oral tablet and concentrated oral solution. It also comes in an injectable form, which, only, which is only given by a healthcare provider another one that's injectable. Haloperidol oral tablet is also is available only as a generic drug. Generic drugs usually cost less than brand name drugs. So it's only available as a brand name. Um, sorry, generic, not brand name. Um, so that's probably why it doesn't have another name um, because it's only generic, which makes sense. Um, why it's used. Haloperidol is used to treat a range of disruptive disorders, behavior problems, and motion problems. It's approved to treat manifestations of psychotic disorders, control of facial muscles, spasms, tics, and voice disturbances of Tourette syndrome, severe behavior problems in children with combative explosive hyperexcitability, hyperactive children who show excessive activity with accompanying conduct disorders, Accompanying conduct disorder, sorry. My nose is stuffed up and I'm, sorry, I have like blockage and so I'm having issues um, talking because I can only really breathe out of my mouth, so sorry. Um, so, how it works, haloperidol belongs to a class of drugs called antipsychotics. A class of drugs is a group of medication that work in a similar way. These drugs are often used to treat similar conditions. Antipsychotics act on the brain chemical dopamine. Decreasing dopamine, uh, sorry, decreasing dopamine may help treat psychosis. Haloperidol may also weakly block actions of other brain chemicals. 
This may help to manage aspects of certain mental disorders such as combativeness, explosiveness, or overexcitability, excessive movement, impulsiveness, trouble paying attention, and mood swings. The more common side effects um, include central nervous system effects, central nervous system effects including anxiety or agitation, tiredness, trouble sleeping. Um, another one is gastrointestinal effects, including constipation or diarrhea and nausea, nausea, I'm sorry, nausea or vomiting. Nausea effects including decreased sexual ability, monthly menstrual cycle changes, increased prolactin levels, anticholinergic effects including dry mouth, blurred vision, weight gain, reduced sensitivity to heat or cold. Some more serious side effects, breast pain and swelling or unusual production of breast milk, women only, trouble passing urine or sudden loss of bladder control, dizziness or lightheadedness, fever, chills or sore throat, hot dry skin, heat stroke or lack of sweating, seizures, skin rash, movement, symptoms such as stiffness, spasms or trembling, slow movement, agitation or restlessness, abnormal muscle tone, twisting movement of your head, neck, or tongue, tardive dyskinesia, a movement problem with symptoms such as uncontrollable tongue or chewing movements, smacking lips or puffing cheeks, persistent uncontrollable movements in your legs, dystonia, abnormal movement and prolonged contractions cause contractions, sorry, contractions, Contractions caused by disordered muscle tone with symptoms such as uncontrollable muscle spasms in your face, hands, arms, or legs, twisting body movements, trouble breathing, difficulty in speaking and swallowing, loss of balance or difficulty walking. Cardiovascular effects include low blood pressure, irregular heartbeat, fatigue, jaundice with symptoms such as yellowing of your skin or the whites of your eyes, Lung infection called bronchopneumonia. All right, so that's it for that one. I haven't ever really heard of that one before, so I don't know if that's even a common um, pill to be, to be prescribed. Sounds like it's generic only, so maybe it's not um, prescribed very often. I don't know. It's very interesting. Um, so the next one is chlorpromazine. The word down below because I don't even know if I'm saying that one right. Chlorpromazine is a phenothiazine and that I do know I'm saying correctly. <laughs> um, that is used to treat psychotic disorders such as schizophrenia or manic depress depression in adults. Um, so I'm going to put phenothiazine on the screen as well just so that you guys have that. Um, Chloroprom Chlorpromazine is also used in adults to treat nausea, vomiting, and anxiety before surgery, chronic hiccups, acute intermittent por porphyria, and symptoms of tetanus. Um, this one I also could not find uh, another name for it, so I'm wondering if it's the same thing as the other one, that it's only a generic um, drug, so we'll find out. Maybe. <laughs> In children ages 1 through 12 years old, chloroprom chlorpromazine is used to treat severe behavioral, behavioral problems, such as combative or explosive behavior, or hyperactivity with excessive motor activity. Chlorpromazine may also be used for purposes not listed in this medication guide. Side effects include extra paramedial reactions, so those are Parkinson's-like symptoms, dystonia, akathisia, tardive, dyskinesia. Um, it can also cause drowsiness, dizziness, skin reactions, or rash, dry mouth, orostatic hypotension, am or uh, orthostatic hypotension, amenorrhea, don't know if I'm saying that right either, amenorrhea, um, galactoria weight gain. So that is it for the information. I didn't find a lot of information on that last one, and I don't think that's a very common pill to be described. It did say that it really works for schizophrenia, though, so 
who knows? Maybe there are ones that work better. I don't know. Um, that is all for today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I keep doing the medications just until I'm through that list so that people have that information, but I might do some other videos intermittently. So yeah, that's it for today. You guys have a wonderful day. Stay beautiful, stay wonderful, stay amazing, stay awesome, stay unique, stay you, and above all else, you guys love yourselves. Peace and love.